Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, paid a visit yesterday to the Royal Guard headquarters in the presence of Bahrain Defense Force Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King was received by Royal Guard command Commandment, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of senior officers. His Majesty the King attended Ramadan sports and military competitions which aim at enhancing physical fitness and combat readiness and reflecting the Royal Guard's preparedness, resilience and dedication. His Majesty the King distributed بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا إن تنصروا الله ينصركم ويثبت أقدامكم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى حفظكم الله ورعاكم سيدي صاحب المعالي المشير الركن الشيخ خليفة بن أحمد آل خليفة القائد العام لقوة دفاع البحرين أصحاب السمو أصحاب المعالي والسعادة ضيوفنا الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة في هذا اليوم يتشرف الحرس الملكي بمقدم جلالتكم الكريم وبهذه الرعاية الدائمة من لدن جلالتكم حفظكم الله ورعاكم لفعالية ختام مسابقات الحرس الملكي الرمضانية للأنشطة الرياضية سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة إن خير ما نبدأ به حفلنا هذا آيات عطرة من الذكر الحكيم يتلوها على مسامعكم العريف عبد العزيز أحمد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الذين قالوا ربنا الله ثم استقاموا تتنزل عليهم تتنزل عليهم الملائكة ألا تخافوا ولا تحزنوا وأبشروا بالجنة التي كنتم توعدون نحن أولياؤكم في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة ولكم فيها ما تشتهي أنفسكم ولكم فيها ما تدعون نزلا من غفور رحيم صدق الله العظيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة نستأذن جلالتكم ببدء فعاليات اليوم الختامي لمسابقات الحرس الملكي الرمضانية بنهائي مسابقة كرة القدم على المركز الأول بين فريق 
كتيبة الحرس الملكي العاشرة وكتيبة الحرس الملكي العشرون الشوط الثاني من مباراة كرة الغدم النهائية بين فريق كتيبة الحرس الملكي العاشرة باللون الأزرق وكتيبة الحرس الملكي العشرون باللون الأخضر وتشير النتيجة بتقدم الكتيبة عشرين بنتيجة واحد صفر سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة تتم الآن إعطاء شارة الانطلاق لمنافسات مسابقة الجري لمسافة 2 كيلو متر للضباط يشارك فيها عدد 21 ضابط من مختلف مرتبات الحرس الملكي في مسابقة الجري للضباط الملازم مبارك الدوسري من مرتب كتيبة مدفعية الحرس الملكي 11 المتسابق الحائز على المركز الثاني في مسابقة الجري للضباط الملازم عبد الله الشيخ من مرتب قوة الحرس الملكي الخاصة وصول المتسابق الحائز على المركز الثالث في مسابقة الجري للضباط الملازم فهد الزعبي الجماعي وتحتاج إلى القوة الجسمانية وقوة التحمل واللياقة البدنية العالية فاز على المركز الأول في مسابقة نقل المهمات قوة الحرس الملكي الخاصة
بين فريق كتيبة الحرس الملكي الثانية وكتيبة الحرس الملكي 12 والآن مع المتسابق من كتيبة الحرس الملكي الخامسة الفارس الجندي أول تركي محمد ناصر على الجواد عيدان الجواد عيدان عمره سبع سنوات وهو من إنتاج سرية المراسم والخيالة مع المتسابق من كتيبة الحرس الملكي العشرين الفارس العريف فيصل التميمي على الفرس سميرة والفرس سميرة عمرها سبع سنوات وهي من إنتاج سرية المراسم والخيالة والآن مع المتسابق من كتيبة الحرس الملكي الثانية الفارس الجندي رشيد منصور على الجواد عبيد الجواد عبيد عمره خمس سنوات وهو من إنتاج سرية المراسم والخيالة His Majesty the King distributed gifts to the winning teams and wished them further success. He thanked Royal Guard Commandant and all servicemen, hailing their patriotic dedication, allegiance, professionalism and impressive combat readiness. His Majesty hailed the efforts of the Royal Guard and the BDF servicemen for their dedication as part of the Saudi-led Arab coalition and the Restoring Hope operation as well as their relief aid efforts in Yemen. His Majesty the King and Royal Guard officers and non-commissioned officers exchanged good wishes on the holy month of Ramadan. The ceremony was attended by Defense Affairs Minister and BDF Chief of Staff.
الفائز بالمركز الاول في مسابقه الجري لمسافه 2 كيلو متر للضباط الملازم مبارك الدوسري من مرتب كتيبه مدفعيه الحرس الملكي 11 الفريق الفائز بالمركز الاول في مسابقه التتابع 4 في 100 متر للضباط فريق كتيبه مدفعيه الحرس الملكي 11 الفائز في المركز الاول في مسابقه الكروس فيت للضباط الرائد احمد المهزع من كتيبه الحرس الملكي 12 الفائز في المركز الاول في رمايه الدقه للمسدس المقدم الركن خالد احمد يوسف رويعي من مرتب قياده الحرس الملكي الفائز في المركز الاول في رمايه الرشيش النقيب فضل علي النعيمي من مرتب كتيبة الحرس الملكي 12 الفريق الفائز بكأس المركز الأول في مسابقة كرة القدم فريق كتيبة الحرس الملكي العشرين الفريق الفائز بالمركز الاول في مسابقه الكروس فيت لمرتبات الحرس الملكي فريق كتيبه الحرس الملكي الثانيه بالمركز الاول في مسابقه نقل المهمات العسكريه فريق كتيبه الحرس الملكي 12 الفريق الفائز بالمركز الاول في مسابقه التتابع 4 في 400 متر فريق كتيبه الحرس الملكي الثانيه الفريق الفائز بالمركز الاول في مسابقه شد الحبل فريق كتيبه الحرس الملكي الخامسه الكتيبه الفائزه بكاس المركز الاول في مجموع العلامات كتيبه الحرس الملكي الثانيه وقد حصلت على 37 نقطه
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness congratulated the students who passed the secondary school's examinations for the academic year 2017 and 2018, wishing them further success in their future endeavors. He directed the Ministry of Education to continue its development programs for the benefit of the students. The Minister of Education presented a report on the results of examinations of the first term of secondary schools, technical schools and intermediate schools. His Royal Highness then directed the services ministers to follow up on projects in villages and cities following the field visits in order to meet the needs of citizens. He also directed to develop internal roads and its infrastructure in villages and repair the roads leading to villages according to high quality standards. His Royal Highness directed to activate control campaigns on street advertising and ensure their compliance with the specified terms and conditions. He also stressed the importance of activating the Joint Committee from the concerned authorities to apply the provisions of the law regulating advertisements and appointed the Minister of Work, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning in this regard. His Royal Highness ordered the relevant authorities to ban imports of fruits and vegetables from the Indian state of Kerala affected by the Nepal virus. The cabinet was briefed by the Minister of Health on the necess necessary precautionary measures taken by the ministry in cooperation with the competent authorities for the prevention of the Nipah virus, including the monitoring and control measures at ports and examination of human samples and the procedures and preparations for the epidemiological surveillance program. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to speed up providing alternatives and generators that produce energy in the event of power outages in their areas to avoid any inconvenience and to take all effective measures to ensure the return of electricity as soon as possible. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs affirmed that the authority spares no effort in providing electricity and water services to all areas of Bahrain and that some rare interruptions are dealt with in short periods of times. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the Minister of Interior to prepare a draft resolution granting foreign investors a residence permit under personal sponsorship for up to 10 years, the Minister of Interior proposed a draft resolution amending some provisions of Decision 47 of 2007 which is concerned with granting foreigners residence permits under personal sponsorship. The Cabinet decided that the fees for the students enrolled in Bahrain Training Institute will be calculated at the level of single courses rather than the entire training year. The cabinet also approved the services fees and the regular training program fees at the institute. The cabinet directed all the minist ministries and concerned authorities to activate the agreements, memorandums of understanding and the executive programs signed with brotherly and friendly countries and international organization to derive commercial, economic and political benefits from them. The cabinet also approved the classifications of agreements, executive programs and memorandums of understanding according to the implementation authority. The audited financial data of the future generations reserve for the year 2017 has been approved. The cabinet discussed a memorandum of understanding between the Bahraini and French ministries of interior that aims to exchange security cooperation and coordination and combating terrorism and its funding. The cabinet referred to the Council of Representatives the government's response on a draft law amending the advertisements regulation law. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired yesterday the 20th meeting of the Higher Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security at Rafah Palace. In line with recent directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to prioritize oil exploration operations, His Royal Highness instructed to speed up the operations and the necessary frameworks to be put in place to attract international companies to partner with the Kingdom on production activities. His Royal Highness noted that production on the recently discovered Khalij al-Bahrain Basin, which is anticipated to comprise 80 billion barrels of oil in place, will begin within five years. He directed for a number of wells to be installed as part of a research and evaluation phase starting in October 2018 and due to complete in June 2019. The research and evaluation phase will include geological surveys to determine the recoverable quantities of oil. International partners will be selected for the production phase in December 2019. He stressed the importance of optimizing international investment opportunities within the kingdom's energy sector in order to generate positive returns and ensure oil and gas activities continue to contribute to the kingdom's development program led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed that the Khalij al-Bahrain discovery will hold significant long-term benefits to the kingdom's economy and its citizens and reflects the central role that investment in downstream industries and exploration as part of the kingdom's diversification efforts. The committee concluded by highlighting the promising implications of the discovery for the de development of the kingdom's oil and gas sector, including opportunities for innovation and growth across the entire value chain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited yesterday the Majlis of Sheikh Ibrahim bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the strength of the Bahrain social fabric underpinned by the principles of diversity and pluralism which define Bahrain's national identity and values. He said that His Majesty the King's crucial role in strengthening the bonds between citizens, noting that these bonds represent an important foundation to the Kingdom's development. He stressed that the Kingdom's commitment to supporting citizens' aspirations sits at the heart of development efforts and noted that a range of projects are in place to encourage growth and drive efficiency across public services, including healthcare, education and housing. Sheikh Ibrahim bin Hamad expressed his gratitude for His Royal Highness's visit and highlighted his important role in advancing sustainable development.
Marking the heritage sports season, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the kingdom's traditional sports are witnessing remarkable activity and great development thanks to the directive of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness said that the heritage meetings and sports that are held in this regard are bring together the people of Bahrain who are keen to promote the popular heritage and its long-standing sports. It is also an opportunity for communication and interaction between the people of the country and it is a source of pride recalling the achievements of the kingdom's ancestors in this regard. His Highness said that Bahrain also seeks to introduce young people to heritage sports of all kinds, increase the demand of young people to practice and experience these sports in a competitive environment that allows them to interact with the elderly who experience part of the heritage sports. The Bahrain Committee for the Traditional Sports, headed by Khalifa Abdullah Al-Gaoud, has received instructions from His Highness Sheikh Nasser to hold a three-month contest of the Nasser bin Hamad season for the traditional marine sport which will be launched in September, including rowing, pearl diving, fishing and naham.